Welcome back to Astro Playground. Today, uh, I'm going to take an opportunity to uh, welcome our new subscribers um, and uh, encourage you to, if you haven't already, hit that notification bell because we will have quite a few new videos uh, coming up uh, future. Um, some of the initial videos that we're going to be doing are going to be some product videos. Uh, and today I have an unboxing um, for uh, a product that I just received uh, from ZWO uh, in China. Uh, and uh, big, big kudos, shout out to the people at ZWO. We're, um, uh, we ordered this uh, not very long ago and uh, it showed up a lot faster than I thought it would uh, from all the way from uh, mainland China. Um, so big shout out, kudos uh, to them for getting this to me as soon as possible. I did not expect to see this as soon as uh, I did. So uh, at any rate, what we have here today is the uh, seven position 36 millimeter um, a filter wheel uh, from ZWO, uh, and we're going to be using this in conjunction with the uh, the big telescope, uh, the C14, and uh, a monochrome camera and filter set. Uh, but today we're going to be talking about the the filter wheel. We're a little unboxing, uh, so uh, here we go. We're going to take it and uh, open it up um, and uh, see what we got. The um, uh, the filter wheel uh, came highly recommended uh, by a couple of friends of mine, um, and. Uh, so therefore, uh, I'm I'm uh, excited to uh, to see what this can do. Um, it's actually a fairly straightforward piece of uh, engineering, so um, shouldn't be too terribly difficult. A um, little fiddle work to get it to uh, to set up right uh, in uh, sequence generator pro and such, but for the most part, it should be pretty straightforward. Um, so at any rate, of course, we got bubble wrap, and uh, uh, as of course, uh, what we would expect, um, and here. We have the filter wheel. Uh, this is actually a, uh, a, I believe that this, now correct me if I'm wrong, um, and I'm, I'm not 100% sure on this, so I'm sure somebody will, in the comments will correct me if I'm wrong, um, and I might find out myself here pretty soon, but I believe that this can be used for both uh, the seven position 36 millimeter and the eight position 31 millimeter, or inch and a quarter. Um, I am using the 36 millimeter uh, filters uh, because of the APS-C uh, sensor that we have on our 2600 uh, one-shot color and mono cameras. Um, this will be primarily used with the one with the uh, the mono camera. Um, the one-shot color is going to be used uh, for the front of the scope, uh, use, uh, utilizing the Hyperstar uh, and such with uh, filters and such there. So, uh, but at any rate, so here we go. Um, we'll uh, we'll just open it up and. Typical uh, ZWO fashion, they have a, uh, a nice piece of, uh, of foam uh, to protect it. Um, and here is the unit. Uh, it is fairly uh, straightforward in its, um, uh, in its design. It has uh, several different things um, uh, that, that make it up. Um, it has reducers uh, and uh, couplers um, that you can, you can use to uh, mount it to your, uh, your image train. Um, and I believe that uh, the reducers also allow you to, uns yes it does, it un un unscrews from this and if uh, memory serves this distance here uh, is 20 millimeters, the thickness. So I will be uh, using it more than likely without the um, the, 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 the couplers and reducers um, and fitting it directly into my image train at this configuration. All right. Um, uh, so that being said, let's just take this and set that right there. Um, and uh, for those that are wondering, uh, the, my, my little light, this comes from my, uh, my older son uh, and his wife. They gave this to me for Christmas and I've been kind of wondering what to use it for. And uh, I figured it'd make a nice prop. Uh, so we're going to, we'll, we'll use our little uh, LED uh, planisphere there for, uh, 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 you know, our future videos at any rate. Um, uh, it also comes with um, uh, cabling. Um, this is a standard uh, USB-A to serial. Um, and as I've said in some of my other videos, I highly encourage you to not use these cables. Um, the cables are, are good for backup and such, but as a primary cable, uh, I would go with something that is much heavier duty, shielded, um, uh, things from StarTech and things from um, 
uh, cable matters, excellent cables. Uh, and I actually have a, a serial cable, USB-A to serial cable that I will be using. This will go into storage. Um, so <laughs> set that there. Uh, looks like we have uh, some caps um, and, uh, you know, for subsequent uh, use and covering. And, and those actually might prove to be useful in other applications as well. Um, we have a reducer ring. Um, actually looks like, no, actually it looks like a coupler ring. Um, this, and, and, and I believe it actually is a reducer. So this, it appears to, at any rate, that this will thread in one of two positions. Um, and actually it looks like it's going to go on this side, possibly. Well, at any rate, um, uh, reduce a ring that will fit uh, on the, uh, the camera, and I believe that's going to take it from either M48 down to M42, uh, something along those lines, um, and uh, so we have that. And then um, we also have uh, some small parts, very small parts. Uh, there are some thumb screws, and of course, the, and, uh, <laughs> and interestingly, they sent me a, uh, a little uh, tiny screwdriver um, to be used uh, it with some of the small parts. Uh, nice little addition. Um, I'll probably want to throw that in my in my kit, but I have uh, I have other ones that are hardened tip and will probably function a little better. Um, but we have uh, we have screws, uh, little tiny tiny machine screws, little tiny things uh, that are used to hold these plates. Uh, in in place and so the way that this works is that uh, this this unit here uh, you'll unscrew uh, the plate from the back take this back plate off and it will expose um, and you know we might as well maybe just go ahead and and do that and show it to you um, and it's nice that they've given us a few extra screws just in case you do something silly and lose them um, the uh, the screws are not tight at all um, they're they're just barely sitting in there um, and uh, I would imagine with things like this you don't want to uh, over tighten them so um, we'll just go ahead and remove these uh, and take a second because there are eight of them um, you know, one at a time and this this setup is uh, is designed to be used uh, so that your your filters stay in this filter wheel um, at least somewhat permanently um, so uh, and that's a pretty good thing because this is this this unit will protect those filters especially if you have um, very expensive um, uh, filter se setups either you know from um, uh, Astrodon or whoever um, you know your filters can be very expensive and uh, it's nice to have something like this that will protect them um, very well so the the back plate comes off just like that and the as you can see the position the filter wheel position and it, it's nice that it's it's all numbered um, one through seven uh, and I believe that you can get a uh, replacement uh, wheel that you can take this particular filter wheel out and put the eight position in. Now, again, I could be wrong on that, um, and I'm sure somebody will correct me uh, if I am ex if I am absolutely wrong on that. Um, but this this position uh, will allow me to use my 36 millimeter filters, um, and these bag of uh, these rings they fit literally right in right in place here and bolt down. So the the filters that come that I'm, I'm going to be putting in here are unmounted filters. They don't thread in. They, they drop in and are bolted in place. And that will protect them and hold them in there, in this case, in this heavy aluminum case, and protect them quite well. Um, that I like that, uh, especially when you're dealing with very expensive filters. So um, this, uh, the back plate, again, the back plate is heavy machined aluminum. Um, it, it's kind of difficult to see the construction of this, um, but it is, it is a very heavy duty uh, milled aluminum plate. Um, they've, they've actually, uh, CN, uh, through a CNC process, have removed material here to reduce the weight, at least at some level. But uh, this is easily, the, 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 at its thickest point, this back plate is easily three millimeters thick. Uh, that's a heavy aluminum plate. So, 
um, uh, very solid construction. Um, excellent, uh, excellent, excellent uh, in its um, engineering and design. Um, same with the uh, uh, this this plate. Uh, very heavy construction and uh, not terribly heavy in weight, but uh, heavy in construction. Uh, very solid. Uh, a lot a lot more solid than I expected it to be. Um, and uh, that that is um, <laughs> that that is very comforting. So uh, again, uh, we have our serial port. Right? And this this uh, plugs directly into uh, your, um, uh, your either your USB hub or however you're connecting it to your uh, to your camera. You can actually directly connect this to your ZWO camera uh, through the USB port. Um, and I'll probably be running it. I might consider running it that way, um, but at the very least, I'll be running it through uh, my uh, the Eagle um, and connecting it that way. So um, I'll be fiddling around with that a little bit and see which which uh, uh, orientation works best. Um, but uh, so for the most part, uh, this is the uh, the EW. Uh, I'm sorry, the EFW, uh, the electronic filter wheel from ZWO, 36 millimeter, um, seven position, um, and it looks to be uh, an excellent addition to our uh, repertoire, if you will, of. Um, astrophotography equipment um, and uh, we're excited to get this into uh, into use um, and if you have any questions about this uh, particular unit uh, or if you have comments please feel free to uh, go ahead and, and uh, go down below and add your comments I, I read all the comments um, I, uh, I love our subscribers and uh, um, I look forward to your comments and um, uh, if you're not subscribed already I encourage you to go ahead and hit that uh, notification bell uh, and hit that subscribe button. Um, the notification bell will obviously let you know when uh, we have new videos coming and there will be new videos coming very soon, quite a few actually in the next uh, short while. Um, we're, we're gonna be reviewing most of the subsequent subsystems of, our, of the, the big rig, um, the cameras and, and uh, the, the image train um, and the, the different components that make up the um, uh, the, the big C14. So uh, for now, uh, I look forward to our new, new subscribers. I w uh, welcome them. Um, I'm thankful and grateful for our current subscribers, and I look forward to your questions. Um, and that being said, uh, we wish you uh, the, very, the very best of health um, and uh, clear skies. Um, I'm actually looking forward to some clear skies here in the next few days. Uh, more data uh, on uh, the Heart Nebula, um, and uh, we're, we're excited to see what we're getting already, and it is, it is impressive. Um, and when we do have uh, a next uh, video out shooting the Heart Nebula, I'll probably do um, a, a video uh, of, the, of that process. So uh, until then, uh, clear skies and uh, farewell from Astro Playground. Bye for now.